Hello, everybody. Welcome to our boss guide for Nashandra, the final boss of Dark Souls 2. I'm Ryan Telgenik with GamesRadar.com. And I'm Lorenzo Valoria. So, uh, after hours and hours of banging your head against the wall, <laughs> beating all the bosses, you're finally here. Finally at yes. the final boss. Um, now, you'll notice this is the same arena in which you fought Throne Watcher and Throne Defender. Ooh. Uh, so which means the dangers of the pit surrounding the arena still apply. <laughs> Be careful of where you're standing. Also, you can summon Ben Hart of Jugo once again <laughs> to help you fight. He's going to die much quicker this time. Now, the trick with Nishandra, she does decent damage with her scythe. Um, but the thing is, you'll notice I'm getting cursed a shit ton. <laughs> That's because she summons these little blobs, these little floating blobs you can see. Um, the trick is she'll often leave a gap. It like forms a perfect circle, circle except for a gap somewhere in there. Mm -hmm. Try and stick in that gap a little bit. That makes it much easier. Also, she doesn't really move around that much. If you go farther back to like try and kite her out of the curse, she will come up to you a little bit. A lot of times she'll also just stand back and cast little magic spells at you. Um, so those are little projectiles that are easy enough to dodge, and her scythe attack is actually really easy to dodge too. But if it does hit you, it'll curse you, which means you're going to lose out on, it's going to continually lower your max HP cap. Now I'm going to do a quick switch here, I think you'll see. Uh, I almost broke my smelter demon sword because I used my special attack on her a bunch. So I'm going to do a very frantic mid-fight <laughs> weapon switch. I couldn't have my great club equipped and the smelter demon sword equipped because yeah, it's it too freaking heavy. Slow you down like hail. <laughs> uh. So you can see I'm staying away from the curse balls. Kite her out of that stuff because if you try and fight her in it, oh that thing's annoying. So she'll <laughs> if you try and fight her in the cursed little orbs, you're gonna just keep getting cursed uh -huh. over and over. And by the time you know it, you're only gonna have access to like a quarter of your health. But the, her two projectile attacks, you just saw the sweeping one that hit me, but she also does one that just goes straight ahead. Super easy to dodge. And there was your quick switch. So there we go. Now I'm uh, feeling Admirable. much more confident. There you go. And I think also what I <laughs> what I did was lock down. I said, all right, if you're going to hang out in there, I'm going to pull out my uh, bow and put some damage yeah. on you while you're just going to you know, cozy on up in your little curse zone. Yeah, I think that's the first boss you I've ever seen you do that. Yeah. With, so interesting. Well, yeah, I finally got to this point where I was like, God, she's not moving out of this stuff. So, all right, I can hit her and dodge these projectile attacks super easily. The sweeping one, a little more tricky to, to avoid. Um, <laughs> I don't think I ever dodged it once successfully because I don't know if you can roll dodge through it. Yeah, so if you're a ranged player, I think this would probably be a pretty oh, simple man. fight. You just yeah. hang back here, just shoot her to death, and Had it I wouldn't been, be too too much of a problem. Yeah, had I been playing a caster, like this fight would be a breeze, which is a little discouraging just because, uh, you know, like Gwyn from Dark Souls, I remember being super, super tough mm -hmm. encounter. Um, but just like that last fight in Dark Souls, what I love about this one too is the use of music here because the theme from Majula is playing oh, nice. like while you're fighting and it's just such a calming, what a neat experience that is when that music that you've been so used to hearing all game plays during the final encounter because I really think it does such a great job of like you know, this whole game you've been fighting to reach this moment, and then it's like, all right, you're here, now just focus. Yeah. Like, it's so cool. Um, yeah, that, again, that sweeping beam is, is a little tricky. <laughs> and if she's not moving, for real, pull out something ranged, <laughs> uh, whether that be a bow and arrow or, you know, maybe you've put enough points into your uh, intelligence or your faith to cast sorceries or pyromancies or mir miracles or yeah, whatever throw a lightning bolt at her or something yeah or even if if you don't have any of that stuff like fire bombs or any items that you've been holding uh that do oh god oh god <laughs> did i uh, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> if you if you know you're not gonna um dodge that thing just have your shield up at least if you've yeah. got one because that'll <laughs> at least reduce some of the damage from that attack it looks like you might have been able to dodge it if you just ran straight towards her did you ever try yeah that? i wonder i don't think i did like well the reason i wasn't was because i didn't want to get in the curse zone because yeah. a few fights she killed me just because i was i got cursed so many times but uh yeah if you follow those simple strategies she's actually not that bad to fight and uh that'll do it for our nishandra boss fight be sure to subscribe to our channel for other Dark Souls 2 videos and check us out at gamesradar.com.